New York to downtown Phoenix right now. Going to be bustling tonight with the Suns game happening. That's a live look at Footprint Center. If you are planning on heading to the game tonight, tip offs at 7 p.m. So maybe you're going to grab dinner beforehand or drink downtown 68 degrees by 5 o'clock. By 7 o'clock, 63. And hopefully by the time you're getting out of the game, 9, 10 o'clock, temperatures will be dropping back into the 50s. Temperatures right now are in the 50s, 54 degrees with 30% relative humidity and 23 degree dew point. Those numbers tell us it's a dry air mass in place and likely you can feel that with your skin winds out of the east southeast at 10 miles per hour. That's probably going to be the strongest wind uh, we have all day and you can see just a little bit of pollution there kind of that layer there hovering over the the valley. Uh, it's a little bit of that uh, coarse and fine particles that tends to be trapped near the surface when we have these cold mornings. No watches or warnings though related to the air quality. We're actually in the moderate category for today. Our low was 48 degrees. Normally it's about 53 so a little below average on our low and the afternoon high we're shooting for 70 today. 75 is about where we should be. I don't think we'll warm up to normal though uh, today because of that storm that rolled through over the weekend. Didn't bring us much rain or snow, but definitely left us with some cooler air. All right, let's look ahead now. Uh, as we look ahead to our six to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, this just updated to show uh, this is the start of next week, all the way through about Wednesday, above average temperatures. The darker the color, the higher the likelihood that you will be above average. And remember, average is about mid 70s. So we're probably looking at some low 80s during this time frame. Uh, at least for a couple of the days. Now we look ahead even more from Thanksgiving all the way through December 1st, and we're still favored for above average temperatures across Arizona. We again are seeing clear skies and lighter winds in the deserts of the state, but still breezy in the high country from both the system that swung by, uh, swung through our region over the weekend and the system swinging by right now to the north of us. It's going to keep us pretty cool across the state for both your Monday and then let's take your future cast model into your Tuesday as well. We're not going to get any rain or snow from that system, but again, it keeps kind of that cooler air mass in place. Now that changes starting Wednesday and lasting into the, at least the first part of the weekend as a high pressure ridge builds in. That's going to warm us up. It's also going to keep us dry and uh, this storm system to the north of us, that low pressure system here that, that are going to track on shore and push on shore, kind of tied to an atmospheric river, one of those deep plumes of moisture coming in off the Pacific. That means heavy rain and snow from Northern California up through the Cascades and the Pacific Northwest here. Let's just keep coming all the way through the next couple of days in the second half of this week and into the weekend for Arizona. We'll get some high clouds from time to time Thursday into Friday and Saturday. As we take this model though into the week and it's interesting, we cloud up a little more Saturday and especially on Sunday, we may even see some of this start to dip a little further south and we may get some rain around the state on Sunday. Right now our chances aren't great for the valley, but it is something that we're closely watching. In fact, we're starting to see some slight chances show up for northern Arizona. This is a seven day rain outlook and again, it's only day seven of those next seven days that we have a chance for rain and it's mainly looking favorable for the northern portion of our state, but that could change since we're quite a ways out and we'll update you. We'll give you a first alert if and when it does 70 today your high in Bullhead City still windy today in high country and in western Arizona 72 for Havasu today 45 your high in flex it's still chilly too. 52 for Payson 50 your high in Sholo 51 for Window Rock Page will warm it to about 57 upper 60s for Casa Grande 70 as we mentioned for the valley overnight lows tonight into tomorrow morning that wind it's going to drop off and that'll cause the temperatures to fall off a bit more so 20 tomorrow morning for flag 12 for the south rim of the Grand Canyon 25 for Sholo and Prescott and we'll be down to the 40s for the valley 36 for Casa Grande. We could see some outlying portions of the valley that drop into the upper 30s. We had a few this morning, including Ahwatukee, Anthem, and Buckeye. 71 for tomorrow. Then we start to climb upper 70s for Wednesday and Thursday. We've got a really nice week ahead of us. Really gets good toward the end of this week. We even have some low 80s by Friday and Saturday. Again, we'll keep you updated for Sunday. Right now, we're going to forecast a slight cool down and some clouds.